Hey everyone, so here's the deal with my hair. Um, I stopped perming my hair in hmm, 2007, fall 2007, so that's like three years ago. But um, I didn't really still, I still didn't know how to take care of like my natural hair. Like even after not perming it, I still like flat ironed it like every day. I colored it like really high blonde at a point and I really didn't take care of it too well because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, recently, <clears throat> well, actually December 09, like the beginning of December, this past December, I started coming across a lot of different literature on how to take care of natural hair and a lot of different YouTube videos on it. And I learned so much. Thank you all for making such wonderful informational videos on how to take care of natural hair because I was completely ignorant when it came to that. And um, so I started by cutting my hair because it was damaged and it was still dyed blonde. And I just needed to cut it off because it was like bleached all over and just really bad. The ends are just really bad. So I cut it to like chin length. And here's a few pictures. And um, I kind of made, I was experimenting with like different regimens and I still am. I'm experimenting with different products, but I've kind of found the ones I like. Um, and I just kind of wanted to leave my hair alone and just let it grow. Because as I said in another video, my goal length is like to the middle of my back or to like the small of my back. So. You know, that's going to take me a while, but this is what's been going on recently. So I cut it to chin length, <laughs> and I left it alone and didn't flat iron it very much, only to dust the ends, dust the ends, not trim the ends, literally dust the ends. I don't know if you can see how small of an amount of hair that is, but that's what I was doing every, like, month and a half. And here's some pictures from January. hair is flat ironed here. Um, it really didn't look too much different than December because I was still flat ironing a lot because I still didn't know what I was doing. But I was at least deep conditioning like very regularly and like oiling the ends with olive oil because I like olive oil. I know people, some people use coconut oil or grapeseed, but olive oil works for me. Um, but I could, I don't know, I might experiment with another type of oil. I'm not sure yet. So that was January. Um, I flat ironed again in February to just dust my ends again, I think, and just see like how long it had gotten. I don't know if I took any pictures, but um, here my hair is again in April, the beginning of April. I flat ironed it again, and um, I just wanted to see the length. And here's the length right here. So it's about like collarbone length. The top is like kind of layered, but I'm just going to go by the bottom because my hair is pretty much going to be layered for a while until it grows out to where I want. So collarbone length right now. And actually, I didn't tell you this, but the reason I went natural is because one day in college, I was washing my hair, and I hadn't got a touch up in like a month or two because my salon was so far away from my university. And I just was feeling my hair in the shower, and I'm like, this feels so thick and full, and the curls are so pretty. And I miss my hair. I forgot how my real hair looks. So from then on, I just decided to stop it and let it grow out like this. Um, so I was when I did the length check, um, in the beginning of April this month, I realized that my hair had grown 3.5 inches since November. So that was like 0.7 inches a month. So a little over half an inch a month. Um, and at that rate, by the end of this year, um, my hair should have grown about eight and a, like eight and a quarter inches. 
about that much. So that'd be like down to here. And right now it's not this short, it's not chin length, it's actually down to here. So that's not too much more, honestly. And I think I can get there and I'm excited and I just wanted to share my hair journey with you all because I saw so many of them and they're really inspiring and I've gotten, gotten so many great tips from you ladies on just how to take your natural hair. Um, I am looking at a few new products, namely the Kimberly Kimball Hair System. I read about it in a magazine. I heard like Oprah, Beyonce, Alicia Keys, a bunch of people with natural hair go to Kimberly Kimball and use her products and go to her salon. I'm not going to go to the salon because it's in LA or something, but I do want to use the products because they're for curly hair and just see how that works out for me. Okay.